So how are you doing with this whole election thing? A couple of months ago, someone that I'm pretty close to got really mad at me because I was not enthusiastic about voting for Biden. I had made up my mind I was going to vote for him. I had conceded to that, but I was like, don't ask me to be giddy about it, please. And it's uh, it's been a complicated emotional process for me that I've often, I've, I've tried very hard to not get too externally focused on aspects outside of my control. And I don't really like talking about politics that much because I always know that it's really easy to upset other people and to get into like this pissing match about who's right and who's wrong. And I have the sense that the argument over who's right and who's wrong is almost always more gray than it is black and white. And we all have positive and negative attributes about our perceptions. And that if we worked harder to combine our perceptions rather than claim my perception is mine and your perception is yours, then I think we'd all be more complete. But I do want to express a particular uh, fear, anxiety, insecurity I've had about Biden. Um, so his decision that his running mate was for sure going to be a woman, and I believe he also said it was going to be a woman of color, like, you know, that sounds good. But like, when I think about it, I'm a little bit disturbed by it, because there are a couple reasons for that. And I'm not stating these things as definitive facts. These are just my feelings, and my worries and my concerns and but it basically it's like what what is his motivation for selecting a woman of color as his vice president um that's part of it it's like i don't know the heart of biden like i don't know what's in his heart and mind like i'll never i'll never know there there are too many too many filters between you know with like media filters and and just too many barriers for me to, you know, ever understand what's going on in his mind. Uh, all I have are my speculations. But so, but on the surface, it looks like it brings up the question of: Did he select his running mate because he has a genuine heart to see progress happen in our nation, or is? he using her as a chess piece to further his own ambitions or is it both um, or is it something else you know, there, there are always so many more options than are immediately visible but the second part of it that bugs me is it's like okay so woman of color position of power, vice president, big deal. I mean, I don't say that sarcastically. It's a big deal. And the thing is, though, the reason that she's able to get to that position of power is because a white man decided so? Is that, is that justice? Is that like... I don't know. I guess I could see how, well, a white man deciding that is is a monumental thing, I guess. But, like, just the combination of, like, is he exploiting the fact that she's a woman and exploiting her ethnicity? And then we're celebrating that because it's seen as progress? You know, it just unsettles me a bit. And again, um, these are not facts. If I were to take what I feel and my fears, my insecurities, and and portray them as facts to myself and others, then all I'm doing is contributing to the polarization and contributing to the misinformation 
and, and contributing to the paradigm that we're all just like trying to get through with our sanity intact, you know? So that's not where I'm going with this. These are just feelings. And it's like, I, I feel afraid to express them because it's like, oh, who am I going to tick off with this? Like, who am I going to get chewed out by? Who, you know, what, what division is going to come from what I'm saying? But I carry these things around with me and I know I've learned very well that if I'm carrying something around with me, someone else is too. And the only way we know that is if we talk about it. And this isn't me saying Biden's bad. I'm not excited about him, but like, okay, yeah, it's, it's a, you know, the way I look at it is, you know, I'd, I'd rather get herpes than HIV and Biden is not herpes. I just, you know, I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, so just hang in there, everyone, please. I, don't, I love you, and I know this is hard. I know these are hard times. It's insane. And even the best of us are getting pretty bogged down by a lot of this. And we just have to take care of ourselves and take care of each other. And have have a safe way to talk about our feelings and to be honest with ourselves about our feelings i don't know maybe sharing these things on a on a video on social media is not the best avenue maybe i should just like confide it in a friend or something i'm experimenting with my life i'm trying to figure out i'm trying to figure out the way to to do this so just be excellent to each other